seems a pleasant enough little place. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. How can I help you? And what do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time. from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Of course. I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realised something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems... risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. And we'll only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realised what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous, until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon.
How nice to see you, my young friend. See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. after all, Merlin. Wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before, I Revelia. they teach at Hogwarts will not serve me. Bastard, scratch me. Lies and falsehoods, no one's my ear and rockwood. Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. Never have time. 
to get my claws out. Back for more. on the map isn't far from here. Revelio. Only muggles. I tell you this. Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. And where did I set my traps? Was it lower or upper Hogsfield? Pavilion. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. something. Can't figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough dumb beasts for everyone. Ah. 
I don't like the looks of that encampment. Revelio. Everything's all right now. I know what that means. Merlin trial. in the forest. It escaped, but still. I find the rarest beasts in the forest, I do. I might have gone more to plan if you'd paid attention to instructions. <laughs> Shall we?
Revelio. Always my turn for patrol. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Dozens humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they humans do. Every time. Lucas, don't tell us. Not quiet enough. Come on. 
Revelio. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Meat. He's likely studied here. Rebellion. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. What do you have in store for me this time?
Velio. Won't get the best of me. use of my talents this I'm glad I don't oh, I've heard you. Yes, tell us. I'm happy with my life <sighs> Pavelio. Solves that.
nothing pleasant about this coast. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Revelio. Thestrals overhead? Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. <sighs> All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. At the festral nests close by. Incendio!
I'm sorry we can both see Thestrals. Levios! That's not something I'd hope we'd have in common. Kill any of you trespass. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. Silent as a grave. Avelio. Enjoy suffering, do you? Such arrogance. They got what they deserve. Revelia. What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. All of Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. I agree. Only good wizards are dead wizards. Ranrock's got that right. And I'll be most keen to help him achieve his goals in that regard. 
Valéa. Wait. Wait? For what? Ugh. Why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lodgok said... Oh. Your goblin friend? Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing, to find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lodgok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. Revelio. <sighs> Where are the two of you headed? No, don't tell me. I shall see you there. So far, so good. Charming. Spiders, how fitting. Ah, 
Almost as good as if I'd done it myself. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. One nudge and that chest might have fallen. Oh. I think three nudges at least. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. Revelio! Read the world of another spider. I shall see that. Incendio, Fringo. Incendio, and Fringo. 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 A staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Ah. Incendio! Revelio. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Such for runes. Incendio. We've seen runes. Is finding these chests luck or instinct? Rebellion. Quick enough.
Pavelio. A journal entry. We should look for more. Why couldn't she have kept all our journal entries in one place? Revelio. like an angry troll to bring friends together. Revelio. of things. Debris everywhere. Repairer. That was a piece of work. More than one. Rebellion.
A journal entry. Isadora was here. Revelia. Regarding Leviosa. Rebellion. I'm out of breath on the stairs, but the view, well worth it. Another barrier. We can blast through it, I'm certain. Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. Rebellion. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. as good as if I'd done it myself. Revelio. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the triptych pointed us here. Another rune symbol. Feel as if I should be fluent in runic language by now. Another area Isadora created. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. Rebellion. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers in Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. <laughs> the final canvas piece of the triptych! We've done it! Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers in Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. 
I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. Revenia. I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. This is it. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder... What is it? Let's find out. Bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear... We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. Thank you. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this? Unnerves them. Not oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. But someone will be. She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. 
The abandoned home in Felcroft, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes, yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain... It's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait?